By the way, if I look like a little red or weird or sharp, it's because I'm using the Fuji X-T2 to record this for the first time. I'm trying it out. Hey guys, Omar here. And today I thought it'd be fun to look at some of the styles that you have. In the last few videos, we've been talking about style and editing styles. And from going through your Instagram, I just feel so inspired, like you guys, we get so caught up in our own editing. It was great to see what other people are doing. Now, some Instagram accounts are completely cohesive. You open it up and you get the person's style in a second. Others, like even mine, we have like a variety of styles and that happens sometimes. So I'm guilty of having like a little bit of a mess. And my Instagram account includes family pictures and my egghead sometimes. Now, if we don't get to your Instagram, I apologize. It's probably like time and editing and how long this video is. Also, some of you left like personal and private accounts, so I'm not gonna share your photos. So let's look at some photos. We're, this is not gonna be like a fro Frodo. <laughs> this is not gonna be a photo critique per se. It's like going to the museum together. We're gonna look at work together. Let's just like look at pictures together. Okay, so this video is gonna be completely about me. <laughs> just kidding. But one of the styles I love is just a punchy, colorful style. I like the photographs to have like a lot of punch to them. So you'll see a lot of color work in my photography, okay? But I do dabble in the fade that we talked about. For example, here's a shoot I did. And you can see I actually use tones in this and a little bit of fade as well. So I do have a varied style, but you can see there's a lot of punch, a lot of color. Any black and white I do is also gonna have a big S curve. The darks are very dark. Oh, look at this. Mm -mm. All right, let's start here. Beautiful fade style. This is really great, love it. Very nice faded look, very great tones, and just beautiful. You can see there's a consistency in the work. Okay, Adrian, uh, looks like the black and whites are less punchy, so kind of even black and whites, which is cool. We got some fade going there, so maybe trying to find your style. Um, but it looks like fade, and there is color, and black and whites are somewhat faded. Cool. Okay, so here we have another style. This, again, has a variety. If you notice, these two, one is more faded than the other. Uh, so maybe, again, playing with different styles. But again, there is a consistency. One thing to notice too, there's a cropping style here. So you can actually crop your photos and have a white background. The only thing with that is when you're looking at the Instagram feed, it's nice to see the crops as squares like this. This is a very good look. Okay, this one has again a style to it. You notice it's got like a nice soft, the greens are beautiful. They're a little pastel green. Okay, Rob, super awesome, punchy style. If you notice, check out the blacks here. Great use of shadow. I mean, I'm I'm super scared of having shadows be that scared. So I love that Rob is doing it. Uh, and it makes for a beautiful, interesting style. Big, healthy S-curve in this. I love it. Very crunchy, a lot of blacks. Ooh, bonus points for being a Fuji shooter. <laughs> awesome. But look at this style. Beautiful. Um, it looks like there's somewhat pastel kind of, you know, mid-tones up kind of look. But... He's not afraid to play with a good, healthy S-curve, like this black and white. Uh, but this is a little softer. This is like mid-tones up, very mid-tones up. So now we're starting to get very faded. So there's a variety of looks, which, uh, like I said, I do as well. This is punchier here, punchier, super punchy. So you see some of us like kind of do the whole range. We use fades. We use different curves, which is cool totally cool. It's cool because I do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Just from the uh, beginning here, these posts, these are very consistent, nice, soft pastel, kind of like a mid-tones up with a fade look, if you notice that. This looks like a good representation of the work here, so it's kind of like a nice fade with good colors. Looks like old film. Oh, this is film. <laughs> All right, check out this style, guys. This is really cool. And this is what I was saying. It was so great to see what everyone's doing. Now, this is a super fade look. And the, you know, so let's look at this first one here. And so the color, you see the shadows are completely different than the crazy S curves we've been seeing, but it gives it a nice nostalgic sort of film look. I said, be careful, you know, like if you overdo the, the film look, it could be a fad later on, 
um, you know, something like this. Like I would love to see the colors. I'm not, sorry, this is not a photo critique, but what I'm saying is this looks really, really old here. Uh, and I bet these colors are really popping, uh, you know, that maybe give a sense of place at the spice store. Uh, but that's okay. That's your style. Um, portraits are consistent. Awesome. So great to see what you're doing. I notice here, look, there's a there's a different style here. Beautiful travel photography. Good colors here. Uh, it looks like a normal S-curve, so not crazy punchy. This one's punchy. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Justin TRZ. This is another cropper. We got a little bit of a crop here, which is cool. Nice. You can see from these first photos, this has a style. This has sort of like a bluish tone to it. Even the, from a landscape to a portrait, they match. From a grass to a building, you see the, the images match. So this is this is being having consistent work, and that is usually the Instagram dream. So this is really good. Okay, here, Perry Strom. Nice, punchy, beautiful images. A lot of bokeh on that fish head right there. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Lovely, lovely. A little bit of fade here. You can see some of the styles have fade. Uh, faded black and white. So using the curve there, very cool, very cool. You know, sometimes we take pictures with our phones and that, that kind of like kills our style. Like we're editing on a computer, but then if we take a picture with a phone, this is really nice. So this is a very cool, consistent so style here. And again, this was, this was one of the examples, uh, Gaston Sag where I was like, this is not my style at all, but I love seeing people's work. Like, look how cool this is, man. And I am not brave enough to use this much shadows. Like, I feel people's faces going away is not something I would do, but this is beautiful. And like, look how crazy shadowy this is. That's super nice, you know? So kudos to using your style here, your tones, and again, it's not my style, but like, man, do I appreciate people just making their work look a certain way. So beautiful. This is just terrible. Oh my gosh. Who is this guy? Oh boy. This is just terrible. Terrible work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jose is actually one of my friends. He's a good friend of mine and he is an amazing photographer. And he also does what I do, which is he plays with different levels of styles. So he takes fantastic architectural and street photography, but his styles will range from super punchy city, as you can see here. Uh, but he's not afraid to use tones and fades. And so you can see uh, he did a beach series here with sunrise, and some of them are very punchy and have delicious colors and a great S-curve. But he's not afraid to tone it up, baby. I like what you're doing, bro. So, for example, a cityscape right here that has an old film nostalgic look, uh, fantastic. So beautiful. And here's a megatone. You went crazy on that, Papa. <laughs> I'm just messing with him. Follow Jose. He's my bud right here. Let's get his followers up. Let's see what happens. Nice. More beautiful colors. Good tones. <laughs> Fuji amateur. I love it. Not too bad, amateur. I like what you're doing. You're using one of the film simulations probably, maybe classic Chrome, or you're editing with a certain look, but the look is good. It's consistent. It has that film look that a lot of people like. Matthew Reed, awesome. I love this. This is like punchy colors. So um, kind of like my style, punchy colors, looking at, oh yeah, it's awesome right there. Thumbs up, buddy. Oh, all right. So check this one out. So this is an example of where you know someone's got their stuff together. <laughs> so definitely a look here. Now, there aren't a lot of images. So, you know, maybe they deleted all the other stuff and kept this up to look awesome. But this is awesome. So these are tones using a split toning technique of some kind or some kind of uh, preset or something, you know, their own kind of look. But uh, beautiful job, consistent. All right, Sora BH, cool colors. Here we got an example of mid-tones up, not a lot of shadows, which is really neat. You could see that in this photo and this photo as well. And in Joe's pictures here, we got nice punch, nice crunch, good S-curve. So if you like this style, I love this style. Um, and now here we're using harsh light. Know, know, know that your lighting also will affect your your curve because if you shoot in, in sun like this, you're gonna get an automatic punchy S-curve. If you shoot in a, on a cloudy day, you're gonna get something that's a little bit more even. Uh, so just know that, that your lighting also affects what your punch or your contrast will look like. You Fuki Blatt! <laughs> hey, what's up, man? He's always hanging around our YouTube. Love that, love that. 
Uh, great street photography here. We got some tones going to the museum, going to the museum, a lot of stairs. Super cool work here, man. You do, you're rocking it. I can see some kind of classic chrominess going on down here. Uh, so beautiful work. Lovely. Here we have a little bit of an, a faded look, nature faded look, na faded nature look. I'm totally for that. I've used that before. <laughs> Awesome. Look at Fremi here. This is really cool. So this is uh, kind of a little bit of a grungy style, which I love. That's a lot of clarity, a lot of punch. The blacks are very black, but there is some kind of toning going on here, which is really nice. But if we're at the museum and we're seeing this, man, really nice. Great tones, a lot of blues. Got a little fade going on there. Love it. A little bit of fade, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of pop. Awesome. Okay, here we got Kurt. Beautiful uh, film look to the photographs. This is great. Sometimes getting rid of greens is a great option. You see, like if you kind of tone your greens to be like faded like that, beautiful. Uh, and these may be film. I mean, are these film? Because this looks, no, Fuji X-T20, buddy. Extra points right there. All right, dirtbag photographer. Let's see what you've done. <laughs> great name there. Beautiful work. I can see that it's got super colors, which I love. Um, just here's, here's an example of where there's one tone and one not toned. Uh, this is beautiful landscape work. Nice. Look how beautiful this is. So this is definitely brave to just shoot one type of black and white and also tone it a certain way. This is definitely a collection of work. Awesome. Pete. Oh man, these colors are just beautiful. Uh, there is a variety of looks here, just like I do as well. So this is kind of like a little bit more of an S curve. And this cat right here is very S, you know, uh, very faded. Here's a street photography uh, architecture that's faded, but then here's that cat back with an S curve. So again, it, it, it opens up the question that we can discuss. Should you have a consistent tone curve for all your photos or should you vary it up, you know? I don't know. I can't ever decide. So I kind of keep, you know, going back and forth on different looks. Wow, that's pretty. So these images right here, these nine go together. Uh, we got a super fade going on here. We have a grungy grunge S curve going on here. But there are beautiful tones and beautiful colors. Here it changes a bit. So in the beginning, it's it's definitely a different style here than here. But that's okay. You can change your nine, your grid of nine each season if you want to. I saw Peter McKinnon was talking about that. You know, just change each season. Like for winter, just keep doing everything in blue. And I thought that was pretty cool. This has a style to it. It's got a nice uh, faded look, pastel colors, greenish, bluish tones. Gorgeous. Little bit, we got some S curves next to fades. Uh, so maybe what we can start doing is kind of keeping all our fades together and maybe our S curves together. But uh, man, that's beautiful work. Look at this. That's crazy. Fuji X-T20, bonus points. Tim, beautiful work, travel photography, great colors. There's black and white. We also have good punchy S-curve going on. A couple of fades. We all got to throw our fades in there, which is nice. Here we got, again, pastel colors and a faded look. Nice, another Nicholas, another brave shadow dude, uh, but beautiful. Look at the, the color removed. So you guys can see that here... Uh, it's not a black and white, but it's very close to being a black and white. I respect bird photography. <laughs> How awesome. Uh, looks like you're playing around with different color tones. You see the greens here very popped, and here they're a little bit lighter. Like this could be maybe classic chrome or something. So maybe playing around with different film simulations or different looks on your camera. And then down here, again, we're very punchy, very S-curve, lots of color. So cool. You're You're trying different things to find your style maybe. John, awesome. New York, baby. Love it. Oh, you're from Houston, not New York. Okay, but you got New York on here. Uh, but this is a good example of nice faded look. Um, very cool, very cool. Tom from Brooklyn, local. Nice, nice. Very cool. Street photography. Again, when you look at cropped photos on an Instagram, it doesn't. it's not as cohesive. I'm just finding that. Uh, but cool. Street photography that's punchy, punchy black and white. Playing around with the faded, it's all good, it's all good. Nice, Alexander likes a punchy style, I can see here, just like me, love a punchy style. Good colors, great travel photography, so very cool, very cool. All right, here we kind of have like a 
classic chrome kind of look. Love it, love it. Classic chrome is a great way to get started. If you kind of like that look, you know, you can put classic chrome and decrease the color if you want, or put some tones on top of uh, your classic chrome. Nice, so it's great to go from one Instagram to the next. Did you see that? We were kind of like, you know, here's some faded tones, which are pretty. Uh, but then if you're into the, the you know, boosted color kind of style, look at this beautiful travel photography. So I love seeing your work, guys, man. It's so great. Look at this. Man, I just want to be there. I just want to be climbing those stairs. So cool. Got some moody grams going on here. Um, but very nice. Very nice work. Cool. We got some Jordans going on. Love it. Love it. Uh, so here the, the work is very varied, so even more varied than mine, which is fine. But we got some fade going on for street photography, fade going on for some street work. Uh, and then it gets a little punchier here for a portrait. Um, but even these two are different colors. Uh, so I would recommend that if you're doing the same kind of portrait, keep the portraits the same. Uh, if you're going to be varied, uh, again, it's if you're showcasing your work. If you're using your Instagram just to share what you're sharing, that's cool. It doesn't matter. There are no rules. Nice. We got cats here. Cats. <laughs> Good boosted colors. Very cool. Very cool. Chris. Nice. From Seattle. XT2. Uh, this is beautiful work. So here we got some backlight with some fade. Here we got a little bit more punch. I love this. This is like good color. Nice, George. Punchy colors. I know if I shot here in, Ch I've been to Cinque Terre and I boosted the colors of these guys like you wouldn't believe. So it's nice to see like George did something different. In his eyes, he just pasteled it, made it very cool. But again, that's why I love seeing this stuff. It's just to see what people are doing. Man, look at this. So Michael has like a cool green tone going on in this, this, this work right here. Just really consistent here in the beginning. Um, super nice. So this looks like we got some toning going on here, which is very cool. Uh, but these colors go great together if you're planning that. And then here we got a little bit of like a mid-tones up or a little bit of a fade and mid-tones up. So this is what I was saying in my other videos where you can go as faded as you want. Very light, very airy. Uh, and then adjust the color to your liking. But that's a cool style. Like, man, this would be a great print somewhere. That's beautiful. Again, so good to see that we're doing different things. See, from one photograph to the next. Here, Josh has like a very punchy red popping colors. Uh, so just completely different. Nice. Here we got another shadow junkie. I love dark photography. Awesome. Look at that. Even the clouds are killer dark. Uh, again, not my style, but I love seeing other people's style. You throw in a nice little flower in there for us. Nice. Here we got a lot of uh, shadows up going on. If you notice here, we got the shadows coming up. And this is, I like the style. It's almost HDR-ish without getting HDR-ish because this is still darker. Uh, but it's a very cool style. I like this. I use this sometimes when I'm doing decor photography. Uh, but these first ones, shadows up, shadows up. And you know, like when we compare this to the people who do crunchy crunch shadow photography, it's nice to see something different. That was fun. Again, we've been loving not talking about gear on the channel. Hopefully that was a little inspiring for you to get out and even shoot. You know, sometimes we forget to go out and make photographs. So that's what this is all about, trying to kind of work on our work. And uh, it's just nice to see what you guys are doing. So thank you for sharing your Instagram accounts and I'll see you guys next time. We'll